Hey everybody, Rob D'Alessio, Taste of Retirement. What we're doing today is a pan-seared Alaskan halibut over a bed of sauteed broccoli Rob topped with a Creole sauce. And it is absolutely fantastic. Come on, let me show you how we do it. Okay, pan-seared Alaskan halibut, one of my favorites. We're doing it over a bed of broccoli Rob uh, and finished with a Creole sauce. And Creole sauce actually comes from tomato sauce, which is one of the five classical mother sauces. Go up here, take a look at this episode. We, we cook all five mother sauces, and, and tomato sauce is great, and it's extremely versatile. So Creole sauce, you can do shrimp and grits, you can do it on a seafood item, you could actually even do it on some chicken or some pork if you wanted to. But what we're gonna start off first is we've got some salted water going. We're gonna take the broccoli rabe and we're just gonna blanch it for about 30, 40 seconds. We've got an ice bath here because we wanna stop the cooking uh, process quickly. Broccoli rabe, uh, which is spelled R-A-B-E, is actually more like, more part of the turnip family than broccoli it is. Uh, it's got a great uh, Mediterranean, if you would, history. People absolutely love it. So that's been in there about 20-ish, 30 seconds. So that's good. You can see how it kind of wilts down. And just throw that in the water bath. And then we're gonna come back to that later on. Now, what we're gonna do here, the halibut, it's not seasoned. We know that, right? You know, fish don't come seasoned. So we're gonna go a lot of salt. We're gonna go a lot of pepper. And then what we're gonna do is get the pan really, really, really hot. And we're actually gonna go ahead, we've got skin on. You can leave the skin on. It's actually kind of difficult sometimes unless you have a very sharp knife that you can take that skin off. But one of the things you also can do is um, you can ask your fishmonger to take it off for you and they'll do that. You'll generally have to pay for the weight that it's taken off, but then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna get the pan really, really hot. A Little bit of oil in the pan just so we don't stick. And then we're gonna season both sides. And yes, I know I'm seasoning the skin, but that's okay. Some people eat the skin and they like it. Um, some people don't, that's your preference. I'm not gonna judge. All right, so the pan should be good and hot. Now, the way you wanna look and see, I mean, there's an easy way to tell. I mean, you can't put your hand in there and see, but you just take a little bit of water Drop it in, and if that starts to really get active like that, then the pan's hot and ready to go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the skin side down. And just let that go. And you're gonna wanna let that go for about, about four minutes on each side. But we're gonna go skin side down first. It's seasoned. Uh, we blanched the we blanched the broccoli rabe. We put it in a water bath. Now we've dried it off. Um, and so what we're doing today, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna saute the broccoli rabe in this pan after the fish is done. But the Creole sauce came from tomato sauce, which we already talked about, one of the five classical mother sauces. But we kicked it up, right? So we added some crushed red pepper, and also we, we added Creole seasoning to it. And Creole seasoning you can get at the store, uh, Tony Cacheres, there's a few other brands, but it's absolutely fantastic. You can serve it on a bed of grits if you wanted to, or maybe you do like a Johnny cake or some other kind of cornbread. Whatever you want, it's extremely versatile. But the tomato sauce is fantastic. All right, so it's got about two more minutes on this side, then we're gonna flip it, do the same thing, and then move on and get it over. All right, so we've gone about four minutes. We turn it over, you can see the skin turn real black there. And honestly, what you can do is just peel off the skin if you want at that point and get rid of it. It should just, it should just rip right off. So we're just gonna go a few more minutes here, get some good color on that side, and, and then we'll go from there. All right, so it's been about three or four minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take them out. And yeah, your pan will get your pan will get a little bit smoky, so open a door, turn on the fan at your house, something like that. But obviously get that off the heat as fast as possible. Then we're gonna let that rest. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and we're gonna saute the broccoli rock. Okay, so we've got the halibut out. Now we're gonna go ahead and saute the, the broccoli rock. So you're just gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan. And, and again, we're gonna wait till that gets good and hot. Then we're gonna saute the broccoli rabe for about three, four, maybe five minutes. Really just till the stems get good and tender. Good. All right, oil 
oil's getting hot. We took the broccoli rabe that's been dried now. It goes in the pan. And then I like to season it. Salt and pepper. And a little crushed red pepper as well. So just flip it around a few times. Don't worry if some of the leaves turn brown. That's good, it just adds color. It'll have a little caramel flavor to it as well. Take them out. Put them there. And then you take your, your nice piece of halibut. Your Creole sauce. And we have it. And there you have it. Pan seared Alaskan halibut over a bed of sauteed broccoli rabe, topped with a Creole sauce. It smells amazing. I'm sure it tastes amazing. If you like what you saw today, go to our page, like and subscribe, and you'll see amazing content just like this. I'm Rob D'Alessio, and this was A Taste of Retirement.